few days ago here, someone went to US visa interview. And to his surprise, the interviewer at the embassy asked him a particular question. Behold, this guy was shocked. He couldn't answer. Because the travel agent submitted that visa application. And this question he was asked at the interview. The travel agent was the one who put that information inside the visa application, but did not tell the client. And the client did not even bother to ask. Because when many of you pay this travel agent these millions you are paying them, you go home and start sleeping. Because you so trust the travel agent to the extent that you believe that he is the only one who can apply and give you a visa. Whereas I have told you before, no travel agent gives visa. The work or duty of a travel agent is to help you to make sure that the right documents, the right requirements, the right steps are followed when it comes to visa application. And after the visa application is submitted, the job or duty of a travel agent is over. Except in some cases where additional documents are required, then the travel agent can reach out to you for submission of those documents. So beside if maybe they ask for additional documents, after visa application submission, duty of a travel agent is over. But many of you have failed to realize that it is not your travel agent that will give you visa. I have also told you before, it is your right, 100% right, to follow up whatever your travel agent is doing as regards your visa application. But many of you are taking this information for granted. Well, at the end of the day, you will be the one to pay the price, not me. Because you as the applicant, whether you get visa or not, travel agent is a winner because he will be paid. If you get denied a visa, travel agent must be paid processing charges. If you get that visa, travel agent will also be paid processing charges. That is to say, either ways, whatever happens to you as regards visa application, travel agent is a winner because whether you get it or not, it will be paid. The same is not for you. You are only a winner when you get the visa and you are a loser when you don't get it. So because you know that it is a win-win for the travel agent and not the same for you, that is the more reason why you have to follow up with your travel agents. Make sure you even see the visa application, the final filling of the application form before it is even submitted. Because you as a person, many of you have failed to even know the requirements the documents, the steps that are needed or required to apply for a visa. So because you have refused to know, so even though you are sitting down with the travel agent there, you don't even know if the travel agent is making a mistake or not. Because you can only correct somebody of their wrongdoing if you know the right way of doing that thing. Now, Somebody reached out and said, this was his experience. He reached out to a travel agent and said, I want to apply for a US B1, B2 visa. So they have been on this for a while and eventually the process was kickstarted. So eventually this guy was paying his travel agents and he wasn't following up. So all in his mind, when can I find dates for US visa interview? Eventually, they got dates. And this guy who is the client, he was supposed to follow up with this travel agent to know the A to Z of information that was put in that visa application. He did not ask. 
he did not ask. To him, everything is good. He has been rehearsing, practicing. He went for visa interview at the U.S. Embassy. He was asked the reason why he was going to the U.S. He told them. Other questions they asked him, he answered. Now, they now asked him this particular question that shook him. Do you have a wife? He said no. But the visa application, the, vis the travel agent already stated in the visa application that this guy has a wife. <laughs> so the visa officer was like, in your application here, it is stated that you have a wife. <laughs> Don't forget, he has already answered no. <laughs> because that was what he told the travel agent. <laughs> oh, that was how that guy was denied that visa. You see, for many of you, you just feel like it is what it is. No. And also, there is something I just said on my Facebook channel. I will also say it here now. It's about somebody who got five years visa ban. Five years Canada visa ban. What happened? This guy applied to go and study in Canada. He reached out to me not too long ago. And he has been following up with my content. So eventually, I believe because of lack of confidence in himself, he decided to use a travel agent to process his study visa. And eventually, he was following up with this travel agent, and they eventually submitted the visa application. But unfortunately for this guy, he was denied the visa. And he reached out to me and was saying, I believe something is wrong somewhere. What do I do? I said, okay, fine. You can request for your global case management note, which is popularly known as GCMS note, to know the reason why you were refused or denied the visa. So it was like, how can I go about this? I said, you can do it yourself. Or better still, you can employ the service of a licensed immigration consultant right there in Canada, of which he did. And Eventually, when the immigration consultant requested for the GCMS notes, behold, this guy was given a five years visa ban. But the travel agent already knew, but did not tell him. Now, you may want to ask, why am I saying the travel agent knew? Because when this guy was refused, according to the travel agent, the travel agent sent him a message because it was a travel agent that was, that was receiving this message directly from ROCC, not this client. So he received the message, maybe probably edited the message and sent to this guy. Because you may also want to ask, why would the travel agent heed this information of visa ban from his clients. Now, let me tell you this. Imagine a situation where a travel agent promised you 100% of getting a particular visa. A processing that people are paying less than 1 million era for. A travel agent is charging you 4 million and you paid him that money cash. After the travel agent must have promised you that there is no way you will not get this visa. He has processed visa for almost 2 billion people before, so your case will not be different. Just go and be preparing to go to Canada. Imagine after a travel agent has given you this kind of hope, then he is the one who submitted the application. Then do not get denied, especially if the travel agent realizes that you know his office or you know where he stays with his family. There will be some fear. Because, don't forget, visa ban means that there is something illegal you have said 
or there is a there is an illegal document you have added to a visa application that is what will lead to visa ban when you don't do it well when you have not submitted anything illegal usually it is visa denier which means you did not do it well now what was the reason for the ban the pof the travel agent used for this guy that pof has been used for a lot of people so they just detected it's like using one pof for almost 20 almost 10 or 20 people to apply for visa to the same country ah ah abba abba think about it just think about it and you even be surprised that when they even check the money in that bank account, it's not even enough to sponsor three people to school in Canada. But the same POF, over 10 people, 11 people, 12 people are using it. That is exactly what led to his ban. And there are many people right now, especially those of you, whom are relying on travel agents to receive message and send you the message they got from IROCC. Many of you are in this level now, but you are not aware. You apply for a Canada visa. Your travel agent just said, hey, I have received a message. You have been denied. Then you will not say, send me the message. Then maybe because of the hope he has given you, he doesn't want to make you feel bad. He doesn't want to make you feel like he disappointed you because he is supposed to take 100% responsibility for that visa ban. So to shift that responsibility away from himself, he may decide to re-edit that message and remove the ban and just send you you have been refused because of lack of home ties, because you are not sure that you will come back to your country or insufficient funds or for no reason, but he, will, he can omit that ban. So if not that this guy reached out to a legal immigration consultant in Canada to request for the GCMS note, he wouldn't have known that he has been banned for five years. And by so doing, for him not knowing, he would have just been applying for visas year after year, wasting time, wasting funds without him knowing. Please, it is your right to follow up with your travel agents. Travel agent is not God. Many of you, you will pay millions. You will be using here to not grant for your travel agents. Your travel agent is supposed to be respecting you more than you are respecting him. Because without your money, they cannot pay their bills. Without your money, they cannot take care of their families. Without your money, they cannot pay their staff. So it is your right to follow up your visa application. Tell your travel agent to send you the final documents. Photocopy it before you will submit so that you can cross-check and go through it. If there is any error, you can also correct it. It is always a thing of joy when I hear that you people are getting visas. So, I wish you all the best, guys. I will see you in my next video. Have a good one.